Okay, now we're going to show you the basics of the hydroelectric generator. So we have here a big, huge cylinder filled with water, and we have it at a certain elevation so that we can use its gravitational energy. And we have a tube here coming into a, what's known as an energy transfer generator. And you can see here the tube is coming, and then there is a flywheel. We gonna, as the water comes out, the flywheel turns, and as it turns, there is a generator there, and it creates electricity. And we're going to measure the voltage that we are getting out of that. So it's a pretty good uh, modern lab that we could do at a demonstration. And it shows us how we could use the gravitational energy of some source of fluid or water. Um, same, kind of the same idea that we have in the generator experiment, where we have an object falling. But this time we have water coming down. So let's test this out now. I'm going to uh, unclamp this. So you should see that it is okay. Sometimes initially you just give it a little kick here, generator starts turning, and it's producing a voltage of 1.9 AC voltage. So now as as the water going is the water is going down, the pressure that's coming out of here is going to be less. So you're going to have it's the uh, voltage that you produce here is going to be going down 1.6, 1.5. You could see here 1.4. And if I move the elevation, what, what happens if I bring this closer? What should that do now? It should be lowering the voltage, right? So, for example, even if I clamp it, and I add some water to it. Put, the, put them together much closer. And I want to see what is the voltage that I'm going to get. So I'm going to unclamp it. Give this an initial little kick. Now, it might not even turn that much. And you see over here, the initial voltage I'm getting, one volt which is much less than the voltage I was getting initially for the other one. So there's less gravitational energy that I could utilize, right? So the, the, the water does not have as much energy to come and be able to turn this. So this is showing you that the gravitational energy depends on the height difference. Also, as the water is going down, there's less pressure. So that's also going to be decreasing. So this gives you the whole concept of how we could use hydroelectric energy, the energy stored in water, to convert to electrical energy in the uh, future. This is a great source of energy.